And to those people who will be saying that, that, you know, this podcast, you know, is about just Megan and that and that. This is Megan's podcast. This is Megan's podcast. Those people should know this. It is Megan and Harry that signed a deal with Spotify. And no one can dictate to Megan how to conduct her podcast, how to conduct her interviews. No one, and I mean no one. This is a podcast archetypes. She doesn't earn a penny of taxpayer money. She earns her own living by working to put food on the table for their children, Archie and Lilibet Diana. They are not earning taxpayer money. You don't pay for their security. So my family, however, these people who are told that Harry would fail, would come back with a tail between his legs, clearly that isn't happening. Prince Harry and Meghan are thriving. They are happy. They can go anywhere in the U.S. and travel in peace. Prince Harry can go to Florida, to Pearl Harbor, to pay his respects without being followed by 1,000 cameras of the U.K. tabloid press, demanding access to that, you know, place. Prince Harry can do that, and that is freedom. That is freedom. Meghan can go to Immaculate Heart. Not a single person in the media can know that. Only until Megan reveals it. That is privacy and that is freedom. And I love how Prince Harry and Meghan, you know, are living in the US. I love their freedom. And I'm so, so happy. So, so deeply, deeply happy for Prince Harry and Meghan. It brings me so much great joy, so much happiness to see Harry and Meghan thrive and continue to thrive. May God always bless them each and every single day of their lives. May they always continue to be free, 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 free each and every single day of their lives. And my family, I love this so much. I love this so much. And this is what happened when the ladies met Megan at volleyball practice. Hear this. <laughs> Or caught up with one of the young women in the hallway right in front of our lockers her mom was like are you gonna meet her are you gonna meet her and i was like i don't think so mom like she has such a busy schedule like i don't think not so busy for this and then and then you like you're like there and i was like oh my god i was like it's my mom it's my mom i gotta tell my mom <laughs> <laughs> well she didn't tell you yet hi mom walking through those halls ugh, it was just so many memories came flooding right back to me Okay, so now we are going into one of my old classrooms, and oh, it's so great because you, as an adult, you come back into this environment, it feels so small, but when you're in high school, this campus was so big. It's true, because back then, that campus did seem to be a lot bigger, but then again, so did everything in life. Just think about it, middle school and high school, this is a really big time for anyone in their life. You're so young, you're so impressionable, and you also think you know everything when you're a teenager. But for young women especially, this is the time period in which you sort of start to look around, the culture, at society, the messages you're receiving, and you ask yourself constantly, how am I supposed to be? At least that was very much my experience of adolescence. And maybe, maybe things have changed. Huh? My family, I love that. I love that 100%. I think I'm going to stop there. In my next podcast, you'll get to hear from the young ladies that Megan met because Megan invited them to her podcast, Archetypes, and wanted to know the stereotypes that they have faced, you know, while, you know, in the high school, how are they have been able to hear the kind of words they don't like? My family, I'll speak about that in the next podcast. But for now, my family, I'm happy about Megan's bond with Doria. That's a strong, strong mother to daughter bond. And I love that for them. I love that for them. I also want Megan to have the same thing with baby girl, Libertana. May they always have that strong bond as they grow up each and every single day of their lives. One thing is clear. Prince Harry and Meghan are great parents and they will love and protect their kids each and every single day 
of their lives. I mean, they inflate toxicity, not just for their mental health, but to also keep their kids safe. As Megan even asked in the Card Magazine article, why should I give a photo of my son, the same people who call him or describe him using the N-word? Megan said that in the Card Magazine article. And that shows you one thing. Megan and Prince Harry will both do everything in their power to protect their kids. Prince Harry and Meghan will never ever hand over their children to the UK press because I've been hearing even the press saying that why couldn't you just give us a photo of Archie? Just one photo was in that, you know, like that's all we wanted. But then why would Meghan ever give a tablet, the rotter, a picture of a child, the same same rotter that was calling him, describing him using the N word. Megan said that. And that was very much true. As Megan even asked that, you tell me how that makes sense and I'll play that game. One thing is very clear. Prince Harry and Megan will do everything in their entire power to keep their children safe. And those are good, remarkable, kind-hearted parents. Parents of baby Archie and baby girl Libidana. And may God bless them abundantly, eternally, abundantly and eternally. And I'm so, so happy to be a supporter of Prince Harry, to be a supporter of Meghan, to support, you know, baby Archie, baby Gali Bedana. And my family, let me share with you an experience of me going back to high school. Back to high school. A couple of years back, I went back to high school to get my certificates, you know, my result slips from high school. And then when I went back, you know, in the school, it's banned to give other students phone call because it was more like a boarding school. So I went there and had a friend who, you know, I went to church with. His name was Dennis. His name is Dennis because he's still my friend. So I went there. I gave out my phone to my friend. And apparently there were some people who saw me giving my phone to my friend. And then they went to tell the principal about it. And when I got there to just receive my results slip, the principal told me, you are not getting your results slip. Why? Because you gave a phone to a student. I had to go back home and come back later after one week. So that, my family, was my experience going back to high school. So you can see, it was not a good experience. And I remember because my, my late dad was alive at the time. He was very, very pissed off with me. Very, very angry. You, you know, he was the one who gave me that phone. And he was very, very angry with me at that time. And those are some of my memories about, about going back to high school. Although I did like, you know, going back there without having to wear a school uniform, to be quite frank with you, because in my boarding school that I used to go to, we used to wear, you know, uniform. So I did like that in that aspect. However, I didn't like the other part whereby I was being punished for giving a phone to a student right after before receiving my result slip, my result slip from high school. So I did not like that 100%. So it wasn't a kind of a good experience in its entirety. I can honestly say that. So my family, I've shared with you my experience. And my family, I like sharing with you this story. So what is your experience, my family, about going back to your high school? Tell me, you know, about that. I want to hear your opinion. And kindly with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our Evergreen family on YouTube. I also like the advice given, you know, by Michelle J. Rodriguez about bullies. Don't let bullies hurt you because they want to hurt you. When they see that you're in pain because of a slur that they made towards you, something that they used to hold you back or put you down, don't give them the pleasure of seeing your heart. Don't give them the pleasure of seeing you in pain. And that's why I like, you know, spare memoir from Prince Harry himself. I like that 
title. You see how it's pissed off the press, the tabloid media. Oh, it's gonna contain many bombshells. Because if you treat treated Prince Harry with dignity or with respect, you wouldn't be worried about a title of a book spare. But the reason they are worried and concerned about it is because they've used that term to mistreat Prince Harry, to be unfair to Prince Harry. Because even Diana said that I give Prince Harry more love and affection and attention because to compensate for any unfair treatment. That's a mother of a young child saying that. That's a mother of a young child saying, saying that. So the royal family, the farm, were treating Prince Harry even bad at a young age. Why? Because he was a spare. That's how they saw him. Not in a good way, in a bad way. In a derogatory, abusive, insulting, insulting way. And the tabloid media have always been calling him that. Spare. Also to dehumanize Prince Harry. And now that his book is called Spare, look at them. The tantrum that they've all thrown. Oh, bombshells on the royal family. Oh, it's going to attack the royal family. This and that. All those lies from the UK press. To get Prince Harry targeted with the hate content. Why? Because they're afraid of what? They are victim of many, many years long abuse. Many, many years of being a scapegoat for the farm. For being a scapegoat for Prince William. Prince Harry will finally speak about that in his memoir, The Spare. And the Tory media, the farm does not like it one bit. A farm that has done everything in his power to try and silence Prince Harry and Meghan. Clearly, Prince Harry and Meghan will not be bullied into silence. And I love, you know, their farm stance. We will not be bullied into silence. Not ever, not ever. And what Meghan said, I can't expect the farm to be, you know, I can't, you know, expect how can the farm expect that's what, what megan said in the opera interview how can the farm you know expect us to be silent when we know clearly the active role the farm is playing in perpetuating falsehoods against my husband and i megan said that in the opera interview and my family you know i love that from megan because it shows that listen we're the victims of abuse we're the victims of abuse we're the victims of a smear campaign and we, as the victims, we will not be quiet. We will not be quiet. I have always said this. When Harry and Meghan left the royal family, the royal family should have stopped and called out the UK press and said, enough is enough. Stop it. You've accomplished your task because clearly they wanted Harry to leave. Actually, not Harry. They wanted Meghan to leave. And Meghan was leaving, right? But they were pissed off because she was leaving with Prince Harry husband they thought that harry would you know abandon his wife megan but that has not happened prince harry is a good man clearly has his late mom's heart as prince harry has always told them i have a lot of my mom in me prince harry is a man with a very very good heart and is unlike you know his father charles william takes more after charles so my family Prince Harry has always stuck by the side of his wife, Meghan, time and time again. And I love that each and every single thing that they've gone through, despite the hardship, the smear campaign, the bullying, the racism, they are still together. They are still united. And I love that so much about Prince Harry and Meghan. That is true love. That is true love. And we'll always continue to support Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, my family. And my family... Never ever be bullied into silence. Never give the bullies the pleasure of seeing you suffer because of their abuse. And my family, speak up and speak out. Speak up, speak out. If you're a victim of abuse, don't keep quiet. Don't ever ever keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Please, please and please, don't keep quiet. And my family, I love that Megan has a platform to speak up. You know and speak out i love this art tape so much i love this spotify podcast so so much and i love the many many voices of the young women who are being empowered by megan megan always lives true to who she is a person who has always been a feminist who always just seeks to empower women and that is what she continues to do and may god bless her heart so so much my family i'm so so proud of being a huge supporter of megan and I know you are as well. 
my family, so don't be bullied into silence. And I love that Spear is now Prince Harry chose the title. I love it. I love it. He's owned up to that word. He's owned up to it. So no matter how much the times they try to use it, it doesn't hurt him anymore. It doesn't hurt him anymore like it used to in the past. Because my family, now the press is coming up with, you know, other names to describe Prince Harry after he called his memoir Spare. They realize that term does not hurt him anymore. That's how you deal with bullies. That is how you handle bullies. And I love, and I love it. I love it. I love it, my family. Never let a bully ever silence you. Never, ever, ever. My family, kindly. What was your favorite part in this latest podcast, Actype? Kindly tell me that also in the comment section. And with that, and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our evergreen family on YouTube. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. And please, before I end this podcast, tune in to Actypes on Spotify and listen in. And listen in. And listen in. And tell your friends to tell your friends. Tell your family members. Tell your loved ones, tell even your enemies to listen to it. Because even those trolls, trolling Megan, are even, they themselves are listening to it. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. For lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.